my darling Fubi Nation, how are you? How are we? My name is Fubi Desalovod. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. How's life, guys? Are you guys enjoying your summer even though it's coming to an end? Did you guys go on vacation? Let me know where you guys went. I would love to hear. We didn't go anywhere this summer. We were really busy with the brand. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hustling out here in these streets. Um, are we living and loving the outfit? Are we living and loving? Would you believe that this top is by H&M? Yeah, H&M. The pants... Oh, I don't remember where the pants are. You know what? Hold on. I will have to go to the side just to tell you where the pants are from. I cannot remember. These are like golden oldies. I'm getting back into my clothes. Are we living and loving? Yes, yes, yes. So, you know how I love animal print. And then you can see it's got all of that. Maybe I should step back so you guys can see. Da, 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 da. And then that's the trouser. Are we living and loving? <laughs> I'm going to do more outfits. I'm just trying to get all of my sit-down conversations with you guys. But this is what it looks like. Yeah, drop it like it's hot booms. Yeah, mama. And um, let me double check. I don't remember what this was. And it's telling me, hold on. It's Sport Max. What? Hmm. It must be an old, old shingy machine. There we go. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so it's Sport Max. I had to have bought this. I don't even know where I bought it. I'm trying to think of my slim days. <laughs> so I can remember. I don't remember, but it's called Sport Max and Co. That's where the trousers are from. And then the earrings, which I love. I love flowers. Um, I think I got these at Zara. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my darlings, welcome, 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 welcome. I did an episode, I think last week, about a beautiful young girl who was depressed because she realized how hard motherhood was. As a matter of fact, she said, I love my baby girl, I do, but I don't want to take care of this little human. And I think that she was going through postpartum and then she also had other issues of which a lot of you had mentioned in the comment section and I said it then and I'll say it now bless her heart I wish I knew her that's another thing a lot of you asked me for me do you know her so that we can reach out to her I don't know her I don't I wish I did I wish she lived in London and I would have helped her with the baby I love babies love 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 babies at least give her a relief of two three days the house is big let her come and stay here and we'll take care of the baby together sometimes it's it's just company it's comfort but then it got me thinking about what she said that if i knew i would never have done this you know what let me play the clip again Can I confess something? I love my kid. I fucking hate being a mom. I fucking hate being a parent. Like, I fucking hate it. And I feel bad for saying that, but like, I wish, I wish someone would have let people with BPD know that like, we really shouldn't be moms. Like, having a kid is too fucking complicated. And I don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to be responsible for this tiny human. I just want to be responsible for myself and it's too late now. I didn't know parenthood was going to be like this. I didn't know I was going to be doing it all by myself with no support system, no family, no anything. I didn't know if I would have known, I would have never done it. I would have never, I would And so I said to myself, being a big sister, a mother to you guys, what would help you? What would help? What, in what way could I give you an insight into this path without actually going all the way through just to have a kind of peak a kind of idea of what motherhood parenthood is and this my darlings is an episode 
for my sisters as well as my brothers because you become fathers as well as you becoming mothers. It's never a one-sided show regardless of which parent is there. It doesn't. That child has a father. Whether he's active or not, he has a father. And I love you guys. I really want to help in any way, shape or form my beautiful daughters and sisters. Because majority of the time, not all the time, you are the one that has to sacrifice and take care of the baby on your own. Single motherhood is no joke. You have to do all of the decision making. You have to buy clothes. You have to buy food. You have to think about schools. You have to think about safe neighborhoods. You have to think about their friends. There are endless birthday parties. Adrian, I think, has gone to like his 30th because they're all in the class and they invite from other classes. And then from other classes, I find myself constantly buying presents because he goes to parties of which I'm happy that he attends. The time spent with them when they're sick, the time that you don't spend with them, you get all of that mommy guilt. There are so many stages to parenthood. And so I have come up with this idea. And I want you guys to take it very, very seriously, most especially for those that want to have children. Or you think having a child, you could wig it, and you still don't have a really clear understanding of what it takes. I want you to do this. I want you to buy a doll or a teddy bear. This doll or teddy bear cannot be left alone at any one time. That teddy bear is with you. That doll is with you. You cannot take the doll or teddy bear with you to work. You can't. You're working. You have to think of some kind of childcare babysitter for that doll, for that teddy bear. I want you to put an alarm on your phone that wakes you up at 1 in the morning. And you cannot go to bed till 3.30 every day. You have to buy baby food and you have to look at the ingredients and think to yourself, is this good for your baby? You have to spend the money. You have to actually spend the money so that you can understand costs. You have to buy clothes for your baby. Your baby is a newborn. So you have to look at newborn. As a matter of fact, some of you, if you want to, you might look at preemie because some clothes they do preemie because some children are born earlier than others. You don't know what your journey is going to be. I promise you. I thought I was going to push. I had a C-section. Trust me, you don't know. Then you're going to have newborn. Ula, are you okay? Yes. You fell? No. Something fell. Then you have newborn. Then you have three months. Then you have up to six months, up to nine, 12 months. It's never one year, it's 12 months. Because it goes up to what? It goes up to 18 months. You have to find out what is good and what you can afford for your child. You have to buy those clothes. You write it out in stages. Because this is an 18-month trial. Try it out for 18 months. You also have to find out about your insurance. For those of you that are in America, in other parts of the world, how are you going to have health care for your child? Do you have a pram? Do you have a buggy? Do you have uh, muslins? Those are little cloths that you need because they drool a lot and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a blender because you have to make baby food when you wean them at six months? 
you will have to study every single day for an hour on how to take care of this doll, a.k.a. your baby. You cannot go out at night and drop it like it's hot in the club. Who is taking care of your child? We hear the stories of how girls have left to party, to do this, to do that. They left their two-year-old, three-year-old at home. It happens. Because they didn't want to do it. Because they got fed up. Because it was a step and repeat. I am giving you a peek into what motherhood can be. Because you see, when you have this peek, if you have a boyfriend, then he also has an understanding of what this can be. And you can turn around and see whether he can truly be the father of your child. Because the commitment, by extension, will fall on him too. You can't go out on a date. You don't have a sitter. And you have to pay for the babysitter. Child care? It can be more than rent. It's the biggest business ever. I did not know. I should have opened up a nursery. Child care? Trust me when I tell you. I know. Adrian goes to nursery, private, and he has his nanny on the weekends. It's not a game. You also have to have sleeping hours where you're going to put a notice outside for the postman. Don't ring the bell. Baby is sleeping. <laughs> Nappy changes. You have to buy diapers. I want you to really buy the diapers, buy the clothes, buy the food. I want you to understand whether you are financially stable to do this on a regular basis. Once you get out the other end, say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like this. This is not fun. This is real life. And this is what your life is now and will not change. That old life, gone. Famous. You will never have that life again. It will never come around for you again because you have this child. And that is a blessing. Then again, it depends on you on how you set the whole shebang up. I want you to do this because those that are in relationships and it's cute and you're having Friday nights and you're making love and you're going out for dinner and you're wearing that cute little dress and you're looking hot. This guy can do it and laugh and play with you and be in your panties, eat all of the cookies. But he don't want to do the hard step and repeat with his baby with you. That's how you know he ain't the one. I'm giving you a peek. I'm giving you a peek. Try this experiment. Try it and see how it works for you. Try and see your family members. Mom, can you help me out? My mother was with my sister when she first had Fenty for 11 months. She sacrificed her own life and went to go and stay with my sister for 11 months. My sister needed the help because she was working. Sleep? What sleep? Put the alarm on. You will know whether you have your support system. You will know whether you have friends and alike. And for those of you that are single, and want to get married and want to have children now you will understand your married friends better that have children you will understand how they cannot see you because they barely have any time in the day for themselves don't look at the glamour posts on instagram don't look at those that are fortunate to have extra help look at the regular sis that's out here hustling in the streets to run the babies to nursery because also you have three months and you got to go back to work and that three months they ducked your pay so that you have a little something but you don't have that much do the experiment come back to me and let me know how you did and let me know if you feel that yes for me i think i'm ready this is for me i think i can do it no for me god bless you thank you very much mama for me you really gave me a full understanding i don't think i'm ready and it is on that 
chapter now that you now go and now start thinking for those of you that are in your 30s go and freeze your eggs you know why because you need to have a cheat on time so that you can go about and be mentally emotionally ready we look for that man job career stability financial stability so that when you come out the other end you're a little bit older but your eggs are nice they're plump ready and then you can go right ahead because you see we don't talk about this enough we don't talk about fertility until the fertility is here you have to talk about it earlier on so that you have options you have options if i am to do it all over again i would make it mandatory for young girls to have this experiment when they're doing their A levels and also to have options for them where they can freely, it should be free for them to freeze their eggs. Yes, 110% because you relocate, because you might get divorced, because your husband might pass away, because anything can happen. September 11th, anything can happen. But you need to cheat on time. Because that's our biological clock. And that's why it's said that you have a shelf life. You don't have a shelf life. You can do anything at any time. You can adopt, of which I am thinking. You can foster. You can also do surrogacy. All of these things are very expensive. That's why I'm giving you options. Because thank you, Lord, God, amen. My father's a doctor, he's a surgeon. But not everybody knows. Not everybody. Do you know how many women have said, if I had known. And so I am giving you this. From a mom. Because so many of you say for me. I never had a mom. Will you be my mom? I'm your mom. Some of you have said you have a mom. But you didn't learn that from her. You learned that from me. Maybe she didn't know either. You know. But I want to give you and prepare you. For your best life. And I think that with this insight. You can have an idea. Of what parenthood is. If you have a good job, but you have no time, that's an issue. You're going to have mom guilt. Because what I have realized is that a lot of the girls I mentor, they also have children. They were not, they didn't know what to do. That's another thing. Don't feel bad in the beginning because you don't know this baby just as this baby doesn't know you. The love grows. It grows. And it becomes easier. That's another thing. It becomes easier as they get older. But when they are at that initial stage, that up to four, up to four, is gotten so much easier with Adrian. Adrian is going to be five in October. Huge difference. He's like a little independent. Little independent. But those four years, and I was hustling with this channel. Oh my God. And I had a C-section. Jeez. And we kept on going. But I had Ula that took three months off and he was the financially stable one. I didn't have to think about it at all. We had extended family. What a blessing. And in the UK, the healthcare is for children. Norway, even better. And if you're a stay-at-home mom, they pay you. In Norway, yes, they do. So I prepared myself. I, I went to university here in the United Kingdom before I left for America. So I knew, uh, for me, you know what? It's better for you here. Coincidentally, Ula happened to be European. I didn't, um, I didn't go out of my way to try to, he, you love who you love. He just happened to be that. And it was a fabulous package deal. It was like a gift for all of the years that I had wanted to get married, actually 10. And I hadn't. When it came to having my baby and that journey, fabulous. Plus, the power of knowledge. Powerful. Because it really made my mommyhood initial years copacetic. And I want to share that with you. Because it breaks my heart and it broke my heart to see this girl crying like this. And she didn't have the support. She didn't have the help, the finance, the work, the family. All of these things that she should have because having children is truly, truly, truly a blessing. Adrian has made me the most patient human being. I am humbled by this beautiful little king that has given me so much purpose, so much drive, so much ambition, so much determination. 
it came from this little man that was in my tummy. And I shifted. It has been a complete and total shift. And it was because of him having that one biological child that made me realize that you could adopt. Because once Adrian was born, I was reborn. And there were instincts inside of me that became alive. And I realized I am not a mother only to Adrian. I am a mother to all. I am a mother to your children. Translation, I will protect them. I will guide them. If they're in danger and I'm there, I will put myself in front of them to protect them because I am a mother. And because that awoke in me, I realized, oh, for me, you can adopt. You can foster. You can do surrogacy. You can do anything. Because the mothering doesn't come from how your children come to you. The mothering comes from how you love all children. And so it becomes very clear. So do the experiment and let me know how you do. All of my love, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, share.